the MZ RH1 mini disc, the pinnacle in mini disc recording technology, released by Sony in around 2007, I understand. This is the box here. It is an amazing piece of technology. Comes with a headphones battery and the control. This is the box with the green design here. Let me open it up just so you guys can see it. It's got the design and then inside you've got the mini disc recorder and uh, it's also a player. This is an incredible piece of technology. The thing weighs about a hundred grams. These are the mini discs. This is an H IMD, one gigabyte disc. Extremely light, extremely durable, rewritable one million times. Magneto optical recording technology. Uh, some of the discs you can buy include um, some very colorful um, ones from other brands such as TDK or Sharp, or I think Sharp and some other brands make them as well. Let's get down to the uh, let's get down to the actual unit. This is the remote control. The clip can be reversed, so if you prefer it upside down when you've got it on your lapel or wherever you've got your clip, you can uh, change it around. Um, this is forward and backward. This is the play button. This is forward, backward. You've got a stop button here. You've got a, a group button here as I understand it. And you've also got a another select button here. On the top you've got a lock button to lock the control. You've got a display button here to change the display. You've got a mode button here to change the mode and you have a sound button to change the equalizer. I've got this hooked up to my K271 ones made by AKG in Austria. Let's get down to the unit. This is an amazing machine. We use these in the studio here uh, to uh, swap our files and we just put the files on a disc, we take it to the next uh, person. It's kind of retro cool. They can stick it in their mini dick disc uh, d deck or whatever, that, whatever they want and uh, they can listen to the files in PCM uh, that is uncompressed CD quality which is better than MP3 quality. Okay so this is the deck itself. It's extremely light and, and it's it, it doesn't weigh, it really doesn't weigh anything. Comparing it with say a Zune or an iPod, it's actually thinner, it's kind of smaller, and it weighs a lot less than a Zune or an iPod. Now, the amazing thing about this is it can record onto a disc and it can record at what is really CD quality. You can see I've got a Sony disc in there. This is an 80 disc but in HMD mode. Now, it is a beautiful piece of technology. Beautiful. This is the OLED display. Buttons on the top. It's, it's the menu mode button. You can change the display here. On the right hand side here we have the, the play button. The red button is a record and it's recessed so that you cannot press it easily. This is forward and backward. This is a, a pause button. This is a stop button. This is the volume. 
and that's the menu button, display button. This is a T mark in case you want to uh, mark a recording while you're recording it, or indeed a song when you're playing it, or a lecture when you're playing it. This is the OLED display. Let's play what's in there. You can see the OLED display lights up. It's reading the disc. It's playing the song. And let's look at the side of it. You've got a mic in, you've got an optical line in, and this is the headphone jack for the controller. Although if you don't want to use a controller, you can just use it as a headphone jack, 1 8 inch. On this side you've got the battery uh, door. Let's open it up. Now let's not open it up. On the back here you've got the USB cable input so that you can download your music that you've recorded into Sonic Stage and you can then uh, transform it into whatever format you want. So there you have it. It's an amazing piece of technology. Simply amazing. Let's open up that battery. Let's open up the disc and show you what it looks like. So here's my disc that I was just playing. Extremely tiny, rewritable one million times. Very cool, retro cool. You can put a whole album on this and record it in PCM um, format. And it's just such a, a cool little machine. The um, The linear PCM mode is something like 44 uh, kilohertz, 16-bit, so it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, this also uh, has the ability to play um, mini disc, long play discs, ordinary mini discs. It has a VPT acoustic engine. It has a high definition digital amplifier. Um, it can play MP3s. It can play A track. You can record in various A track formats, which are uh, semi lossless formats, which are pretty pleasing to the ear, a bit like high end MP3 formats. You can see all the various functions it has here. Standby power consumption is 0.1 of a watt or less when the AC adapter is not connected to the Walkman. It has lead-free solder. It has a halogenated flame retardants that are not used in the printing wiring boards. Um, the carton is made from 100% recyclable paper. So there's a lot that has gone into this product. The real killer feature of this product is, however, it's the, the ability for it to record on a small disc like this, which you can buy for probably less than a dollar these days, but not that expensive. The fact that you can record over an hour, at least on the larger discs, of CD quality recording on a unit that big, smaller than a DAT recorder, smaller than a 16 track or a uh, reel to reel Nagra or other recorder, and a lot smaller. Now, the flash based recorders that Sony's making now probably have a lot more capacity because you can um, put in there a an SD card, I guess, 4 gig, 16 gig or higher, and it would last a lot longer. But they're a lot bigger. This is so light, it's the size of a packet of cigarettes, and it's only 100 grams. It doesn't weigh anything. And this is the button here that you use to record. You simply push it across, like this, 
If I can do it, it won't let me. And you record. It is amazing. So let's record something. No, I think my disc is right protected. So there you have it. The MZ RH1. Tiny, portable studio in the palm of your hand. Retro cool. Cooler than any iPod or Zune or anything else that's been made. Because it can actually play and record in 16-bit studio CD quality. Huh? Look at that. Incredible. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Sony MZ-RH1.